know what's amazing about this whole movement is a lot of groups have come together. I'm, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm just observing this. I've been down to the park a few times, but they've come together to plan these demonstrations collectively. I went to a meeting last night. It was on the web, uh, and they held it at the Teachers Federation. And the plan was to recruit 99 people to wear white T-shirts that would say 99 on them, and then practice, uh, you know, nonviolent uh, passive resistance. The marshals are helping to make sure that the march uh, moves smoothly. I think. Uh, it's one thing to have a controlled arrest situation where these people are planning to be arrested. It's another thing to have something dangerous. Uh, you know, they don't want something where um, where the police are shoving or, or, pra or practicing any kind of brutality against people, and they don't want the same thing on, on the part of the protesters. I mean, no one wants a riot. That's not the purpose of this movement. I felt that this was a really important moment historically, and I think that it's important for us as teachers to set the example for our students. I teach up in Inwood in Upper Manhattan, and a lot of my kids just see what's going on in the news, and unfortunately in the news, they're sort of showcasing not the best aspects of this, so I just wanted to come and see it for myself and be a part of it, and know that it is orderly, it is organized, and there are real reasons why we're here. School aids have been cut in our schools up in Upper Manhattan in the Bronx, and our population really needs these people to receive them in the morning, to keep them safe during lunch, and it's unacceptable that today probably many people were down in uh, Fifth Avenue buying $3,000 bags, $4,000 shoes, and my kids don't have enough space to work in or a decent text book to write off of and it's just unacceptable in this day and age to have these conditions in this country. They just took over the Verizon, the Verizon building. They just put a hologram into the Verizon building from another apartment and they're projecting um, messages to us, the people. They're using the people's mic visually. That's exactly what they're doing. We're in solidarity with the 99 percent. We're out here for the same reason most of these other people are out here. Demand accountability from Wall Street and to urge our urge our elected officials to get on the bandwagon and start demanding accountability.